Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nate, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an auto clicker uh, for any Logitech mouse. Uh, note that auto clickers are not a form of cheating. They are legit. They're not detectable by anti-cheats and blah, blah, blah. Though some games may have restrictions and might get, might get you kicked for uh, input spamming is what I would call it. It's for literally, as the name says, just spamming too many inputs um now this i'll tell you the games that i'll right, straight off the bat right now i'll just tell you the games that this these auto clickers this auto clicker works for and I uh, these are games that i know for sure that they work for so th these are the three games csgo rainbow six siege and call of duty modern warfare warzone or more modern warfare 2019 these three games, I know for sure they work in. Totally accurate Battlegrounds. That's another one that it actually works in, and it's actually pretty nice. Um, now, the thing with auto clicker is a lot of people don't like, you know, me saying I use an auto clicker pretty much in every game. If I can, I'll use it because it'll give me an advantage of spamming things. Um, but like i said this is totally legit though it is frowned upon in uh higher tier gaming like in tournaments in land tournaments and you know stuff like that this kind of stuff would not i suggest that you do not use stuff like auto clickers in you know bigger tournaments with money and all this other stuff um but i think if you're just a casual gamer or if you're a person with like um problems with like you have pro like muscle problems with clicking or anything anything like that. I think this is perfectly fine. Uh, but uh, but like I said, I do not suggest this for higher tier gaming. And another thing is, I am not responsible for any problems that you guys have run in, will run into or may have run into or anything like that in the future. I am not responsible for any of this stuff. And this is purely for informing people how to do this. I'm not promoting it. And another thing is, I'm not sponsored by Logitech in any way. So, to get on with the video, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put Logitech's G-Hub down in the description below. And we're uh, we're just going to go ahead and move on to to Log Logitech's G-Hub. So, I just I just started by deleting the the macro that I had just made um in a previous recording. So, how are we going to start this? We're going to start this by going back to the main menu. So, as you guys can see, I have the Logitech G502, non-hero edition, so I don't have like the, the cool colors and the lights. I have the weird blue tab and the non-hero sensor. Anyways, it's still this mouse is still doable because it has 11 buttons, so I, I can mess around with 11 buttons. So, we're going to start by clicking on the mouse. Once you click on the mouse, you go to assignments. Once you go to assignments, you go to macros and create new macro. Now you can just name this whatever you want. I'll just name this left auto because we're going to make a left auto clicker. So now, now you've got to make the, the, the decision. Do you want it to, do you want it to, to repeat while you're holding the button? So when you hold the button, it keeps on looping the scenario, like the, the sequence. Or do you want it to be a toggle? So you press it once, it keeps going until you press it again. Personally, I like hold because I have more control. I feel that I have more control of this. And sorry for any noise that may come by because every time I decide to record, apparently there's a tr truck outside. Now, now once you've clicked on to your macro type, you want to uncheck standard delay. Just uncheck it. Don't don't bother touching it. Don't ask me. Just uncheck it. You could put a macro color. You know, select a color so you can color code your macros and whatnot. Um, but honestly, that's that's preference. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start. We're just gonna go ahead and make the macro. So you want to go hit the plus button over here, record keystrokes, and while this is recording, you just click anywhere else on the screen except for the red button. 
The red button's where you're going to click once you're done making the macro. So very simply, all you want to do is left click once. Literally, you just press your mouse and just let it go once. Now you hit the big red button. Now we change it to milliseconds. Milliseconds will be 10 milliseconds. Um, a lot of people would be like, why 10 milliseconds? If you don't know anything about like spamming inputs or anything in most video games, I'm trying to make this as general as possible so it'll work across multiple platforms and not just one specific game. I don't know the timing for every single game. I know that this is the timing that can be used across multiple games. So this is not the fastest macro. It's, in my opinion, the most effective one as it, it you don't have to tweak it every time you change a game. So we put 10 milliseconds. 10 milliseconds is what I have found to be perfect. So now that you have that down, you literally just hit save and then it'll appear appear on your the side on this like drop down menu kind of thing. Now, on your mouse, you're going to pick a button that you do not use or or a button that you don't use a lot. My mouse has this DPI up and down buttons that I would never use. I don't understand why I would ever use a DPI up and down on the side of my mouse. So what I did was I just took it and I just dragged it on the top the top one. So you want to just take it, take the thing, you just drag and drop it on the dot, on the dot. Simple. And once you do that, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I already have um, a macro on there, which is the left auto clicker, which is my left auto clicker, which is the exact same timing. Wait, no, not this one. Hold on. No. Well, even the right click, even the right click is 10 milliseconds and the left click 10 milliseconds. So you just drag and drop it there and then you can go ahead and test it for yourself. Don't close out of the application and do not close the application from in like task manager or windows, like, you know, the little drop down menu over here. What you can do is now you can just go to like something like cookie clicker. I know this isn't the real cookie clicker, but I just went on like any anything that I can spam inputs on. And here you go. So I have it on hold and I'm going to hold it right now. Now I will say that this sound is making my body do really weird things. I don't understand. Like I feel like my blood is like staticky. Um, that's just the sound though. It's like is really loud in my ears but damn I hate that sound but anyways I feel that's gonna wrap it up for this video uh, if you have any questions uh, comments um, any more things anything that anything that I said that was incorrect about using auto clickers in video games feel free to comment it down below if I if I am incorrect and and or if I am correct um, any suggestions for anything that you want to see in the near future? Uh, hey, I'm open. I'm, op I'm open to suggestions. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna end it off here. And uh, want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. My name is Nate. Peace.